Welcome to the Trailer Park Boys location tour. Now, if you're just a fan and you want to see some locations, or if you're actually planning on coming down here to Nova Scotia and doing your own trip, I'm going to show you everything you need to know in this video so that you can get the ultimate Trailer Park Boys experience. So if you're a fan of the show, you're going to want to start in Halifax, Nova Scotia. And film most of the show in Halifax as well as Dartmouth. They're right beside each other so you can come to both the locations. Everything's relatively close by. Even though maybe some locations have changed, there are still a lot of the main locations you can still visit. So we're going to visit right from the beginning. The most important location is where it all started, the shopping mall. So the mall is called Penhorn Mall. It's the, uh, one of the first locations ever used in the show, and I haven't been there for almost 10 years, so I have no idea what it's going to look like. But we're going to take a look right now. This location really changed. Not just since the show, but since I've been here last. I was here about nine years ago, and uh, it looks almost unrecognizable. Like, that's actually pretty insane. The actual location where they filmed is a little bit further down, so we're gonna go take a look in a few minutes. And over here on this side, there used to be a mall here. It was demoed just after, um, just before we arrived actually, in 2010. And uh, wow, I'm just pretty amazed how things can change over time like this, so let's go take a look. So here it is, the iconic piece of concrete. We actually found it. I cannot believe how there's basically a forest around this place now. It has completely just uh, deteriorated and turned back into mother nature. It's amazing. Uh, you probably remember this, uh, this location from when Bubbles was throwing shopping carts down. This hill right behind us is a pretty, um, pretty big scene. It's pretty much where a lot of people found the comedy in the show, and that was in season two. Uh, it's a great episode. Ricky's working as a mall cop, and he keeps falling down. Gary, the mall cop's after him. Sweet location. So the really cool thing about this location, it's not just an episode location for Trailer Park Boys, it's actually the birthplace of Trailer Park Boys. Because back in 1995, Mike Clattenburg shot a short here called The Cart Boy. The Cart Boy featured Rob Wells, J.P. Trombley, and Mike Smith, not as the same characters, but really similar. And it's basically Bubbles getting shopping carts, trying to save some money, do an operation for one of his cats. And then the mall cops are actually J.P. Trombley and Rob Wells. It's pretty good. If you can check it out, I recommend watching it. It's a cool piece of history if you like Trailer Park Boys. It's kind of funny because just five minutes down the road, Sidney Crosby, an NHL player, has a sign that says, uh, Cole Harbor, home of Sidney Crosby, just a couple minutes away. You know, this shitty piece of concrete, it should say, home of Trailer Park Boys, because this is where it all started. So if you're a fan, definitely come down to the mall. You can still get in here. Yeah, it looks pretty shitty, but who cares? You know what I mean? This is where it all started. And Trailer Park Boys isn't about looking pretty. It's about looking shitty. Um, I actually think I see some carts down there. I'm not even sure if it might actually be one of the ones I pushed down there almost 10 years ago. We're going to go take a look and see if we can pull them out of there. You just got just to gotta muscle this bad boy. <laughs> kind of funny how there's still shitty old carts down there. So the show, yeah, they're not going to film here again, but for old time's sake, let's just throw her down the hill. You know what, there's really something satisfying about that. I kind of get why they do this. All right, let's keep going. If you're gonna start at the beginning, you gotta start season one. 
This is Beaver Bank Trailer Park. This is where they shot the very first season. It's the oldest season, and at the same time, it's the season that the locations have changed the most. So Julian's trailer is no longer here. The park's no longer here. Um, a lot of the intros you saw, most of this place, almost everything's gone. So if you come here, you won't even really recognize it, but this is where they shot. Now, if you come out here, just make sure to remember that people do live here, respect their privacy, don't go around bothering people, okay? So if you come here, you can just walk through, drive through, whatever, that's cool. But just remember, people live here, this is an active trailer park, so please respect people's wishes. But this is season one. And that over there is the variety store. You might remember that's where Cyrus and Ricky were in the very first season. This store has obviously changed. As the first time we were here, it was still the original store, but they've actually rebuilt it since. Right behind me over here is the scene from Countdown to Liquor Day. It was known as Man Whore Alley, appropriately, from the scene. Uh, you saw Ricky down there, and then Randy, and all the boys walking up. Across the street over there, you had Phil with his camper parked with the Dirty Burger. And then over there is where the Alex Lifeson bust happened. Season two of Trailer Park Boys was shot just up there. This is right beside downtown Dartmouth, so in the heart of the city. If you go up there, you can actually see where they had the dope trailer before. And then later on, when you get all the way up, you can see where they had the election for Sam Losco for your next Trailer Park Supervisor. I really like this Trailer Park, it's a cool one. You see the towers in the background, it's kind of an iconic look, it's really cool. The Yum Yum Cafe, it's still around, although I think it finally closed down for all these years. This was in season two. Can't believe here in 2019 this is still around, but it looks like it just might have closed down. Can't go to Nova Scotia without getting some pepperoni. Mild or spicy. You want to go to Brothers? Very good stuff. It's a, I believe it was like a Polish deli back in the day. It used to be on the Dartmouth side, but now you can get on the Halifax side too. So this is the, the stuff Ricky eats. Really, really good stuff. Check out my collection. And these really are as good as Ricky says they are. Amazing. And across the street, you might recognize this building. This is the army surplus store they used just across the street. Some cool stuff there too. Season three was filmed in Timberlay. This is the smallest trailer park. It's just a little T. It's not very big at all and it's gravel. This is of course where the boys were playing the hockey match. They did the recycling and Ricky got thrown out of the trailer park. Remember that scene of Ricky ripping the bank machine out inside the store? That was right over here. This is on the Dartmouth side. Season four was filmed in Eastern Passage and it wasn't actually filmed inside the trailer park, but just outside. There is a trailer park behind me. They actually filmed up on this hill and right in front of me, Ricky had the wall, it said stay the fuck out. They had the trailers and they kind of just made it like a facade because they didn't want to bother the residents inside the park so they filmed just on top here. Um, I believe they actually even filmed the, the conky scene looking for him in the uh, swamp just in front of me there because it looks like that's pretty much where he'd be. Correct me if I'm wrong. Anyways, hasn't changed much since we've been here last and we're gonna go to the next trailer park. Now if you come out here in Nova Scotia, there's one place you absolutely have to go, that's the KOD, King of Donair. Best Donairs you're gonna find in all of Canada. You can't buy these things anywhere else. Of course, they use the location, the show, and the subs themselves are absolutely delicious. If you're gonna come down here, you gotta chow down. This shit's amazing. My dad has never tried Donairs before. You like it? Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's the best we'll get out of him. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Season five was filmed just up the hill over there. Now there's nothing left there basically at all. There used to be a building up there, but I believe it burned down. Uh, quite a few years ago, uh, a couple years after they shot. Uh, they had the trailers up there, you were able to go in. They actually had a security guard here, so you weren't able to enter, so. Not really much to see here, but this is where they shot seasons five through seven.
So this is the second mall used in Trailer Park Boys. Yep, there are two of them. This is where you saw Bubbles trucking the carts over and who's hiding down there taking a piss. He had his go-kart over there and then Gary the mall cop was after him. Eventually Julian shows up with the gun and they chuck a bunch of carts over the fucking bank. So right now I'm standing in downtown Dartmouth. Dartmouth is just across the road from Halifax. It's a really key location in the show. They shot a bunch of the movies here and a lot of the episodes. If you look up there, you have Portland Street. You saw it in Countdown to Liquor Day when they're running down with the armored truck and Leahy's chasing them. Ironically, there was a armored truck there early on, so kind of funny. Anyways, up the street, you also had the uh, Sun Sun Cafe, which is now gone. And all the way up the street, in season four, you actually had the scene with Ricky and Leahy at the shootout scene. Right behind me over there is the Bible Hill Trailer Park. This is the trailer park used in the newer seasons. They used it, I believe it was from 2014 till at least 2018. They, they still might be making more of them. Who the hell knows? If you go down there, you'll see the lot where they filmed. That's where they had all the sheds and breakfast and everything. Right now, they are just empty lots. Not the most interesting location in the world, but I just wanted to update people on where they shot. And right across the street over there is the little store that was featured in the newer seasons. And now finally we'll make it back to where we started, the moose. And my personal favorite location of the show. Now if you like this video, make sure to check out the links at the end of the video to check out all the other parts of all the locations we saw from many years ago. 